This is code.org, and this is us navigate and paint the path to the traffic cone. Ooh, look, it's like stairs. All right, decompose the problem. Decompose the problem to write algorithms. Moving forward and painting as long as there are no obstacles. That would make sense. Turning left on or right on the basis of the direction a painter plus object is able to move. Oh, so it wants us to check directions. We have a way to do that. Let's take a look at a sec though. Any other algorithms? All right, import painter plus dot Java. Click. Here's my backpack. Check that. Hit import. You can always hit new. Make sure you name it exactly. Copy the code from there. All right. So it's first going to ask us to translate our pseudocode for paint fast and turn and make a turn. Now, you might have a hard copy of this, students. Mm, it might be digital. Not sure what we'll do yet. But that being said, pseudocode, super important. I say this every time. It's used by developers at every large company because it's a great way to play at stuff. I'm just going to grab these descriptions because I want to be able to run, test, and show how the code is working while talking about it. So, but pseudocode would go here. Bloop. All right. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm just going to slap those descriptions in a comment. So the computer will ignore them, but they're useful for. Bloop. All right. There we are. So first, let's go ahead and get our method signatures, right? We need to declare the methods. Now, method signature is a fancy way of saying write the method name, right? It's just like when you write yours, paint fast and turn, bam, bam, right? And then we need parentheses and a curly brackets. I always do all of that before I forget. Also, keep in mind what we've been doing all the way up for declarations of this stuff is what is how we'll declare this. So we need the access modifier public and that we're not going to return anything. Okay. And that's standard for us now. So we just need it. Now that's the first one. I now need to do make turn because I'll do them both now. Public void. Whoop, whoop, curly brackets done. All right. Let's talk possible pseudo ish code. Now, guys, pseudocode, your own words, you want to think of it like you're describing the problem to someone, I don't know, five years younger than you. Really simple and not actual code. Let me break this up into actions. Move forward. Okay, that's one action. Bam. Right? I need to move forward. Paint. That's another action. So, bam. Paint. And collect paint. That's three actions. Boom. So, I need to do all of those things. Ooh, I'm seeing a great phrase. As long as. So when you see as long as, you want to think, ah, a loop, a while loop, this is because it's the one we know. And I'm saying that because if you're doing something as long as, you need to repeatedly check something, right? You need to keep asking the computer a question. Hey, is this still true? Keep going. Hey, is this still true? Keep going. So as long as means a while loop. So I'm going to throw that down right now. I'm not sure what we'll put here, but we're about to see. As long as there are no obstacles. Oh, okay. And we've seen this before. We've seen it a lot, right? So while there are no obstacles, or another way of saying that, the painter can move, right? So while there are no obstacles, or while the painter can move, what are we going to want to do? We're going to want to move, because we'll be checking each time. And turn if you are unable to move. Oh, interesting. They even give us this if. Okay, so then I'll move if I can, but if not, right, so I'll take one step and now I'm going to check right here if I can move. It's kind of weird to say that because I'm checking inside of the loop. Actually, I might do this without a loop first. Let's go to paint fast and I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, painter, move, right? How many times? Oh, once, and then we need to take all the paint, right? Because we need to take all the paint. And so we do have a method that will do that for us. We programmed it earlier. It uses the loop, a wall loop, checks if we're on a bucket, and we'll keep taking the paint until we have it all, which is great. We're going to use that down here now. Bam. All right, so move forward, take all the paint. Now what? Move move right because i'm not going to use a loop i want to just test this all out move 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 and that should put us here okay then what am i going to want to do 
Well, since we're doing it like this, I know. I need to turn right. Wow, that took way too much thought. I need to turn right, then what? I need to move, right? And I can test this real quick. Let's instantiate an object. And all this does is create a instance of the class named my painter plus by running the constructor. And now we can use it. We've seen that a lot. And we're doing paint fast and turn. Bam. Great. So that's so good so far. All right. And it's working. So I move. Now what? I'm on a paint bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and take it all. Take all the paint, then what? Okay, now that I'm right here, what am I going to want to do? Well, turn left, right? Then what? Well, looks like move to. Cool, and then I should be on this paint bucket, so what am I going to want to do? Take all the paint, I think. Then what? Then what? Mm, turn right. And again, this looks like a ton of code, but it will help. We can consolidate this once we have the logic down. It's a great way to think things out. Okay, then if I'm right here, I'm going to need to move twice and then take paint. Bam. And then what? Well, they want us to go to the end, so move. I left all off the paint each time, right? Which we will need to go back and add, but that's not my purpose right now. It would have made this super long. So just to let you know, I know the paint's not there. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit run and see if we can get to the end of this. Perfect. So that gets us to the end. And this is, I'm going to zoom out, guys. This is way too much, right? Let's not repeat ourselves this many times. So I'm going to look for a similarity because a loop can automatically repeat code. Well, what do I see? Move or what do you see? I see a move, take all paint, and a move three times. Then I'm turning. Huh. Well, now I have a move, take all paint, and move twice. Then I turn. Interesting. So I think I'm going to separate after each turn just to see what this looks like. Then I have a move, a move, take all paint, move, move, and a turn. And then this. Okay. So there is some variation, obviously. But what is common? Well, I need to move. I need to take the paint if we're standing on paint. And then when I get to a wall, I need to turn left or right. Well, how could I figure out then? So the first part of that, I'm good to go, right? I can go ahead and say, we can use a wall. And then what am I going to do? Um, wall, we can move, right? So as long as we can move, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and move. Cool. Then what? Well, I want to check if there's paint. And I can just say, if is on bucket. This is actually redundant. I'm repeating myself, though, and I'll show you why. If is on bucket. Bam, bam, and then boom, because I'm going to check. I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, am I currently standing on a bucket? And if I am, I want us to take all the paint. So click and click, right? However, I don't need this if, and that's because take all paint already has a wall. So if I run this, I'm already asking the computer to say, hey, as long as there's paint there, as long as I'm on a bucket, take it. So I won't need to check, right? This is the condition, and it's already being checked to take the paint. So that being said, we don't need this if. All right. Now, what happens when we hit this, right? We need to turn. Now, what's currently happening? Ignore this code down here. I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, can we move? And if we start here, it says, yes, you can. We take a step, and we check. We run take all paint, which is if there's paint, we'll take it all. Okay, then we hit the bottom and we have to ask the computer again, well, can we move? Computer says true. Step forward, check. We'd be here. Check for paint. No, uh, maybe it was there. It doesn't really matter. Go back around. Can we move? Yep, we could still move. We step forward again. We take all the paint if there is any. Hit the bottom. The computer has to check. Hey, can we move? And we are here. It says yes. We move forward. Hit the bottom. We have to check again. Hey, can we move? That's now false. And this is done running, right? If this is false, if this time the computer says false, it would be done with our loop. It can't run the stuff inside. However, what if we did something like this? If negation can move, right? So, or not, what I'm saying there is if we cannot move. Now, we could check other things. Now, let's take a look. This is the painter class. We have access to all of its methods. Look if it can move. Wait a minute, we could even do can move direction. 
So wait a minute. If we can't move, right, if we are stuck, what can we do? Well, if we're stuck right here, we could move south, right? What about here? Well, we could move east. So instead of checking if we can't move, this is valid, because then I would have to check if we can move south or east here. I'm going to go ahead and say, if we can move, I have to put it in quotes, east. So if we can move east, because the only time we can move east is if we can't move another direction, right? Unless we turned around. So if we can move east, every time we need to move east, we would need to turn left. And then let's go ahead and say, and we could do an else, but we haven't really gotten into that. So I'm going to say, if can move south, if we can move south, then what are we going to need to do? Turn right. Boom. That should do it. And I think that will take all the paint. Let's try it now. Ah, so what's happening here is we turn because we could already move east, right? Which is not the goal. We should do it like this then. I could put an if inside of an if, if I wanted. We haven't done much else, if else, but I can just do else like this. So this would mean we cannot turn south. And then I could say if we can move east. However, that's always going to be true. All right, maybe we'll do... If we, I think I was too smart by half. But this is the great thing about code, guys. Test, test, test. If we can't move, cut, paste. So if we can't move, I'm going to check, hey, okay, that's fine. But can we move south? And if so, we will turn south. I can also check inside of here this. If we can move east. And that way... Keep in mind, we're now saying explanation points the not. So now I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, can we not move? And if that is true, if we cannot move, then it has to run this code. First, I say, can we move south, which would mean we're here, and I'll turn right. Then I'll ask if we can move east. Well, obviously, if I am here, right, I couldn't go east. Even if I turn, double check on that, I can go south, I turn, yeah. So then we'll only turn either right or left. We could use an else statement here too, because we know if we can't move, we can only go the other way. Oh, whoops. We don't need the condition. Cool. Now I just need to make sure to paint, right? So move, take paint. And I'm going to do after that, because if I try to paint before take all paint, I might try to paint on top of an obstacle. I'm going to use an if. If has paint to avoid an error. This might not be necessary technically, but I, it's good code. Code should be reusable, and having a condition there is wise. Um, I'm not going to hard code the color. We usually do this, right? So allow for them to input, allow for a parameter. And that will represent the color, which means I need to head back over here. And I don't know, I'll do red. They usually do white. I'm doing red. Ta-da! Cool. All right, few things. First of all, I skipped right over turn left. But that's fine, because I have it. I just need to turn. So the make turn stuff is going to go here. And the logic for this, I just cut it and pasted it. The logic for that, um, now that I have moved that, I need to go ahead and do make right and I could have it like this I could also say I could also put the if up here guys there's a hundred ways to do this and then run this inside of an if I'm gonna leave it how it is for mine um now for the pseudocode for this what would it be it would be something like if painter can't move check if I can move south check if you can move east right And you get the idea here. The idea of pseudocode is it's a planning tool. So I just wanted to see the stuff in action. All right, let's run this one more time. Maybe I'll switch the color to white, hit the test button, and be victorious. Perfect. Onward.